Yeah, go through door 11 where the graduates are. How far away are they? They're here. Should I wait for them? Tell them to skip the line. Yeah. Yeah. Can do it. Yes, tell them to skip the line and come right to the stage. And tell them that we're from the choir. I told everybody, repeat. They said no graduates. I said, I'm a choir. They said, oh, okay. I told, I told them. Well, they know it, right? Or should I wait on them? They're supposedly in the building. Are they in the, in the building or in the parking lot? I'm checking right now. If they're in the parking lot, we'll sing on them.
supersonic man out of you. a good time I'm having a ball Don't stop me now If you wanna have a good time Just give me a call Don't stop me Try now Don't stop me now Don't stop yes, me I'm now Don't stop me now a good time I don't wanna stop at all da, 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 da. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the rest, directs you where to go So make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life Take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories Ladies and gentlemen, before we begin today's ceremony, we ask your attention for a few housekeeping announcements. As a courtesy to all, please take a moment now to silence your cell phones. Take a moment to find the nearest exit in the unlikely event of an emergency. Professional photographers will be taking pictures of the graduates as they come to the stage. We ask that you remain seated if you are taking additional photos during the ceremony. Thank you. But in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life It's something unpredictable But in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life I play my enemy. 
keys like a game of chess where I rest. No stress, don't smoke sense. Less, I must confess, my destiny's manifest. This is vortex and sweats. I make tracks like I'm homeless. Rap orgies, the booty is best. Capture your bounty like everything left. Yes, bless you if you represent the food. But I hex you with some witches' food if you do. I could do what you do. Easy, leave me. My intrigue is me, he can cheat me. So why you imitating Al Capone? I be needing some bone and defecating on your microphone. Ready or not, here I come. You can't hide. Gonna find you and take it slowly. You can't run.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 55th Annual Commencement Ceremony. Please stand as you are able, as the Grand Marshal of the Ceremony, Catherine Powell, recipient of the Motorola Solutions Distinguished Faculty Award and professor in the Career and Technical Programs Division, leads the procession. Welcome the 2022-2023 graduating class of William Rainey Harper College.
Please welcome the Harper College faculty and administrators. It is my honor to present the platform party being led by the president of William Rainey Harper College, Dr. Avis Proctor, followed by honored guest speaker, Dr. Timothy L. Killeen, president of the University of Illinois System, Pat Stack, chair of the Harper College Board of Trustees, associate provost, Dr. Travaris Harris, and members of the Board of Trustees and Harper College Executive Cabinet.
please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, on behalf of Harper College, I am proud to introduce the sixth president of William Rainey Harper College, Dr. Avis Proctor, who will preside over the 55th annual commencement ceremony. Good afternoon. I need energy. Good afternoon. Welcome to Harper College and our commencement ceremony. It is an honor to have each of you with us on this incredibly special day. Our ceremony will open with our national anthem, sung by the Harper College Concert Choir, led by Professor Timothy Philemon from the Harper College Music Department, and accompanied on the piano by Chai Lee. Please stand as you are able. Thank you to our music department and our students, beautifully sung. As introduced, I am Dr. Avis Proctor, the sixth president of William Rainey Harper College. And on behalf of the entire Harper community, it is my sincere pleasure to welcome everyone gathered here today. To our esteemed graduates, today marks a significant milestone in your lives. Satisfying the requirements for successful completion of the degrees and certificates you have earned would be a remarkable achievement in any year. You have done so while managing the ongoing pandemic and balancing the demands of family, jobs, and numerous other commitments. You've learned hard-won lessons in resilience, disruption, and adaptability. Many of you have had the chance to embrace new technology and find ways to build community. You've navigated precarious times with grace and determination. We are inspired by your perseverance. To that end, will you please take out your cell phones and turn on the flashlights and hold them up high? I know you have your phones with you. Can we please dim the lights in the arena? Graduates, you have been a shining light for your family. Now, as a Harper alum, you will be a beacon of hope for your communities. And the audience, let's please give them a round of applause as we celebrate their accomplishments. Congratulations, we are so proud of you. Now let's bring the lights back up. As proud as we are of what you've achieved, nothing can compare to the pride of your family and friends who have encouraged 
and supported you along the way. Please take this opportunity to thank them. Let's give them a round of applause. Graduates, give your family and friends a round of applause. We are so fortunate to have with us today Dr. Timothy Colleen, the 20th president of the University of Illinois System. Since taking office, Dr. Colleen has helped lead a surge of growth across the state's flagship university system, which includes universities in Urbana-Champaign, Chicago, and Springfield. Enrollment is at record highs, including areas increases in, among in-state as well as underrepresented students. Harper College plays a role in that ecosystem. In a given year, more than 250 Harper students transfer to University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign and University of Illinois Chicago, placing each of these innovative institutions among our top five transfer destinations. One program at Harper that has served as a stepping stone for many future Illini is Engineering Pathways to University of Illinois. This program provides an opportunity for qualifying students to gain guaranteed admission to the highly competitive top-ranked rank, Granger College of Engineering at UIUC. Several Pathways graduates will be crossing the stage in just a bit. Among them is Emily Alvia. Her time at Harper started at a particularly young age as part of our early childhood laboratory school. She was only three years old. As an older child, she attended Harper's End Zone summer camp, which exposed her to Harper's classrooms and labs and helped grow her love of STEM. Now, the mechanical engineering major aspires to work in space and aeronautics, where she hopes to make products safer and more efficient. Emily has also been recognized for her work with the Women in Science and Engineering Club at Harper and the National Science Foundation for a study in which students are working to remove barriers for those who are underrepresented in the STEM fields. Let's give uh, Emily a round of applause for her dedicated work. Also with us today is a longtime Harper fixture, Bernie Bluestein. Bernie has been taking art classes at Harper for over 30 years, and now, at 99 years old, he's being recognized with an honorary degree. Bernie is a local treasurer and a national hero. He served in a World War II deception unit known as the Ghost Army, which employed tactics such as inflatable tanks, sound effects, radio trickery, and impersonation to deceive the enemy about the strength and location of American troops. Last year, Bernie and other members of the 23rd Headquarters Special Troops were awarded the Congressional Gold Medal, which is Congress's highest expression of national appreciation for distinguished achievements and contributions. Bernie is the quintessential lifelong learner, and we are humbled that he is a part of today's festivities. Emily and Bernie, like all of you, are part of the fabric that make up our vibrant, diverse, and resilient community. In college, it is such a gift to be surrounded by people of different cultures and perspectives. You may not realize it, but at Harper College, this class graduates from nine different countries, seven states, and all 23 communities within our district. Our youngest graduate is just 15 years old. And as I mentioned, our oldest graduate, as you may have guessed, is Bernie at 99 years young. Through our Office of International Education, we have graduates who studied abroad in Spain, Italy, Costa Rica, Cuba, France, South Africa, and Germany. We have four global scholars who have actively explored intercultural and international perspectives through their work here at Harper. This year's graduating class includes six All-American athletes, 45 apprentices, 187 Promise Scholars, and 310 Ignite Scholars. 27 Harper employees are also earning a degree or certificate today. This commencement, we also celebrate the first student in Harper's history to graduate with a distinction in social justice studies. 
This is designed for students who seek to align their education with the call of community service and civic engagement. Our first graduate, Ada Velasquez, leveraged her volunteer work at the Schomburg Trickster Center toward an analysis of the loss of Native American heritage and its effects on mental health. Thank you to Ada and your faculty for your trailblazing work and commitment to a more just future. I also want to note that 1,271 of this year's graduating class are first-generation college students. I share that in common with you, as no one in my immediate family had ever earned a college degree. I grew up on the island of St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands, and was primarily raised by my entrepreneurial grandmother. I developed a good sense of numbers, and by helping her sell baked goods to support our family, I was able to develop a love for, you guessed it hopefully, mathematics, which ultimately led to my earning two degrees with a strong emphasis in mathematics, and I know many of you have a love for math as well. Education was the key to changing the trajectory of my life. When you reflect on the credential you have earned, I encourage you to see all of its potential. It is a gateway to a new chapter, whether you're continuing your education, entering the workforce, changing career paths, or upskilling to help advance in your career. Your college credential also symbolizes that you have the capacity to make informed decisions, yet engage in constructive debate, and know facts, reason, and logic matter. The more you pursue knowledge, the more you realize there's so much you don't know. Yet there are many opportunities that lie within lifelong learning. In the big data era, when some seem inclined to dismiss science and evidence, you've shown that you value information and you're empowering and protecting yourselves, each other, and our community. Today, you're also becoming a member of the Harper alumni community, a network of leaders, change makers, and innovators who continue to transform and influence the future. This community includes a group of particularly remarkable alumni leaders who we recognize each year through our Distinguished Alumni Program. Earlier in the academic year, we, we celebrated our newest recipients, including Jim Idstein, a consultant and volunteer fundraiser, Michael Patrick McGowan, President of Foster Electric USA, Joe Plazak, a Senior Principal Software Developer at Avid Technology, whose software is used globally in the music industry around the world. Leslie Van Wolvelier, Chair and Distinguished Professor of Accounting at Oakton College. And outstanding recent alumnus, Isaac Jean-Paul, a Paralympic medalist and head coach of San Diego State University Adaptive Athletics. Like these distinguished alumni and so many of the graduates who have come before you, you have the capacity to shape the life you want to lead. I hope that it's a happy and healthy one, filled with purpose, love, and lifelong learning. We can't wait to see what you'll do next. And know that wherever you may go, you'll forever be a part of the Harper community. Congratulations again, graduates. Let's give them a round of applause one more time. On behalf of William Rainey Harper College, I am honored to introduce our outgoing chair, Pat Stack, who has been on the board since 2015 and served as chair from 2019 to 2023. She has close connections to Harper College and is regularly active in the community. As a hospital administrator, Chair Stack collaborated, collaborated closely with graduates of our nursing program and other health career programs at Harper College. She also mentors first-generation high school students, and in doing so, reinforces the value of higher education. Please join me in welcoming Pat Stack. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Proctor. Welcome, fellow members of the Board of Trustees, faculty and staff of Harper College, family, friends, and most importantly, members of the 2022-2023 graduating class. 
I would like to take this opportunity to introduce my colleagues, the dedicated members of the Harper College Board of Trustees. Please stand when I call your name. Incoming Chair, William Kelly. Secretary Nancy Robb. Trustee Greg Dowell. Trustee Diane Hill. Trustee Herb Johnson. And incoming Vice Chair, Walt Munt. I ask that you please take a moment to recognize and thank the members of the current Board of Trustees for the leadership they provide and for their commitment to the welfare of the college and its students. I also would like to take this moment to recognize and thank Dr. Proctor for her leadership and her service to Harper College. Let's hear it. Thank you for your kind words, Chair Stack. Outgoing Chair Stack. <laughs> have to adjust there. At Harper, graduating classes have established a tradition of presenting a gift to the college to benefit future classes. Prince Bahadur, president of the Student Government Association, will now make a presentation on behalf of the class of 2022-2023. Prince? Good afternoon. I would like to thank our honored guest, Dr. Timothy Colleen, the Harper College Board of Trustees, President Proctor, the Harper College Administration, and of course, our 2023 graduates and their supporters. Standing before you as the elected Student Government Association President for a second time is an honor. This past year has been nothing short of exceptional for the students of Harper College. The Student Government Association hosted a formal dance that not only raised $3,700 for mental health support services in our community, but also provided an unforgettable night of dancing and fun. Our online student newspaper, The Harbinger, received numerous national awards, while our student-run radio station, WHCM 88.3 FM, was named the top community college radio station in the nation. Our women's cross country team and speech and debate team brought home national championships, showcasing the incredible talent and dedication of our students. Our students came together to establish a variety of new clubs, some related to areas of interest, including the Computer Science Club, and other connected to identity, such as the Asian Student Association. And to top it all off, Harper College was awarded the prestigious Aspen Prize for Community College Excellence, solidifying our place as one of the top 25 community colleges in our country. In fulfilling our mission of advocating and providing opportunities for students, the Student Government Association presents a gift each year on the behalf of the graduating class to benefit future students. This year, we are proud to honor the students, faculty, staff, and administration who have built a student community of such excellence to receive the distinction of top 25 community colleges in the nation. The class of 2023 wants to commemorate this achievement by presenting the gift of an educational speaker. While speeches are ephemeral, the messages with them are long-lasting and sometimes life-changing. We hope that this speaker will inspire students to strive for excellence and spark innovation and continue to build on the legacy of our college. To the class of 2023, as our journey together leads us to new adventures, I want to share advice that my mom has ingrained into me. In Punjabi, 
He tells me, Kamal de fool di tara rena hai. Which means you are a lotus flower. And just like the lotus, we all have the ability to rise from the mud, bloom out of darkness, and radiate into the world. You all have risen from the challenges brought by the last few years and bloomed as unique individuals. And I'm confident that you will continue to radiate brilliance wherever your path takes you. From the bottom of my heart, I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. And congratulations. Excellent speech, Prince. It is now time for us to welcome Dr. Timothy L. Colleen, President of the University of Illinois System. Dr. Colleen will do the honor of delivering our commencement address. Hello, Harper. And thank you, Dr. Proctor, for that warm welcome. And thank you to everybody here at Harper College for inviting me to be at your great celebration. I'm absolutely thrilled to be among the first to applaud you and say, congratulations, Harper Class of 2023. <laughs> now, that was pretty good, but somebody told me that a Harper grads are going to make more noise than you've ever heard before. And I've heard a lot of noise in my time. So let me just try again. Congratulations, Harper Class of 2023. Yeah. That's more like it. Now, you may be wondering already why a white-haired guy from Urbana Champagne with a funny accent is here to speak today. It's a fair question, and I'll try to answer it. Mostly it's because I was invited. Thank you, Dr. Proctor. But my gift to you today is to be brief, I promise. When I was your age, or at least the average age that I see uh, here, I had hair like this, literally, and I had jeans that had holes in them that were actually earned and not purchased. And, um, and you know, I listened to the Rolling Stones and Mick Jagger had no satisfaction, apparently. So to my everlasting regret, too, I missed my own commencement. I confess, I missed my own commencements. I want to say to you, you are taking the moment to sit in those seats, which is important and will remain with you forever. My commencement speaker was the Queen Mother, and I was hitchhiking somewhere across Europe. So now you're thinking, oh my God, or as my kids tell me, OMG, which is the shorthand apparently for that. Uh, the only thing worse than an unreconstructed hippie for a commencement speaker is a reconstructed hippie. So I won't bore you with my life history, just to say that I've spent most of my career in research and education. Research into how the planet functions and the human relationship with planet Earth that nurtures life, climate, weather, sustainability, etc. I've made snow angels at the South Pole. I've visited every continent, launched satellites to planets and into Earth orbit, gone to the Pacific sea floor in a deep sea submersible, and I have taught and learned from many generations of students just like you in the most joyful profession in the world that of college professor. So I have nothing to complain about, and I'm not going to complain. And I am an incurable optimist, but sometimes it feels that that's hard to maintain. I'm an incurable optimist, mostly because of you, each of you, and the hope that you bring into the world. I've lived in Illinois since 2015, when I became president of the University of Illinois System eight years ago, an unbelievable honor. So why, once again, am I here? I'm here because I hold each of the graduates in the highest respect. I respect and I honor each and every one of you. You have weathered so many obstacles to get here today. You have dealt with a global pandemic that you could not have imagined or you couldn't have planned for. You've worked hard and you've had to plumb reservoirs of courage, tenacity, 
and grit, and you know what I mean. I have no doubt that you turned up late to family gatherings or skipped them altogether, declined dinner and movie invitations, went straight from jobs to classrooms day after day or night after night, studied when your bodies begged you just to get some sleep so all of you could get to this day. This shows the kind of resilience that life sometimes demands, and you have all shown it time and time again over the past few years, and that is why I respect you so highly. I think all of this also makes you optimists, too. And now you have this wonderful set of tools and skills from Harper College, attributes that will carry you forward to change not just you yourself, but your family, your friends, your community, and the world for the better. Wow, what a moment to savor. So I think I was invited here today, at least in part, because I deeply believe in optimism, but I also believe in opportunity. And opportunity and optimism work together like pistons in an engine, pumping as a team, driving forward. So my main message is, yes, one of profound respect for what you have done, all the achievements celebrated today, but perhaps even more importantly, for what you will do. So with your indulgence, let me give you just a few words of advice, perhaps a little different from the standard follow your passion. Yes, of course, follow your passion. But first, from my heart, please know that the world needs you. The headlines are full of worries, jobs, inflation, violence, inequities, intolerance, negativity in the air. Fabricated outrage sometimes seems to be the currency of our times. Anger and resentment becoming too much the norm. Explosion of social media, while certainly connecting communities, also can serve to darken the clouds of negativity with posts that can be mean-spirited, bullying, and divisive. In this world, you get to change the tide. As you move forward, you are the antidote to all of this, just as we had vaccines as the antidotes to the COVID. And with your Harper-trained eyes, and your Harper-trained listening skills, and your Harper knowledge, you can, no, you will, make a huge positive difference in the world. And graduates, just take a look to the person on your right and then on your left, and give them a thumbs up if you can. Just do that for me, please. In this moment, you are celebrating everyone's accomplishments, not just your own, across all categories, countries of origin, race, color, political viewpoint, religion, sexual orientation, disability status, etc., etc. Everyone, everyone, everyone is family here, and that diversity is a pearl without price. As you move ahead from here, there will undoubtedly be some discouraging times. Please do what I do at such moments. Go outside in the early morning and just listen for a few minutes to the bird it, birds sing. They are their absolute authentic selves, just living in that moment. Breathe in, breathe out, and feel your own power and ability to overcome any obstacles, and then go get that coffee. And when you're tempted to seek out credit for what you do, be careful. And this is where if my kids were here, they would cringe because they would know what I'm about to say, because I've said it so many times. It's almost our family motto, and it's shed the credit. It shed the credit. What does that mean? Credit is never enough if you, if you consume it and if it drives you. And it can become toxic if it takes over yourselves, if that credit seeking consumes you. So instead, praise somebody else. Praise the team that you're part of. Lift up somebody else. Praise the mentors that you have. Credit will flow much more naturally, just like those birds sing, when you are seen as somebody not solely out for themselves. And so when in doubt and confronted with difficult choices, always take the high road. I know you will always take the high road. And you owe it in those moments to your wonderful Harper professors. Let's give a round of applause to your wonderful Harper professors. So celebrate this moment, be proud and live it up, wear out those cameras on your cell phones, if that's possible, then tweet and post those happy pictures of yourselves, your family and your supporters and your friends for everybody to see. You've earned every hug, handshake, high five and fist bump 
savor them all, and I hope you land a few cards with cash in them to boot. You are ready for commencement, for this beginning. Because of all that I've just talked about, optimism, belief, resilience, and the fine education that you now cherish and you have earned, you're also ready to make a difference in this world. And we all have a responsibility to make the society we live in just a little better. Start with yourselves, with your families, then your neighborhoods, then your towns, and so on. Lend a hand when and where you can. Be engaged citizens. And when the time comes, be part of a support network that helps others aim high here at Harper or elsewhere, just as your family and friends have helped you. Be allies to those who need your support. And I urge you too, as you've already heard, to be lifelong learners. In just a few minutes, Harper will honor a man who might be the best example of lifelong learning that I've ever had the privilege to meet. Bernie Bluestein will turn 100 years old in a few months, and he spent more than 30 of those 99 years as an art student here at Harper. He started taking classes in 1980 when he was a mere 65. His story is truly remarkable. I'll leave the details for his presentation, but I personally want to congratulate him on this day as well. Well done, Bernie. Very well done. Some of you may remember John Cheney, the very successful basketball coach at Temple University, who led the Owls to 17 NCAA tournament appearances, including a remarkable 12 in a row. He said he routinely told his players this, this is the most important day of your life today. This very minute is the most important minute of your life. You must win this minute. You must win this day. Y para vosotros, que por quien es el primer idioma es español, quiero decir felicidades. De mi profundo alma, quiero decir felicidades. And to all the 2023 graduates of Harper College, you have won this moment, this minute, and this day. So be really proud. Congratulations, Harper, class of 2023. We have been long waiting for you. Thank you. You get to change the tide. Harper College is pleased to award an honorary degree to Mr. Bernard B. Blunstein. I'm so used to calling you Bernie. As I mentioned earlier in the ceremony, Bernie, as he likes to be known, has taken art classes at Harper for more than 30 years and served as a member of the Ghost Army in World War II. He is a Congressional Gold Medal recipient, a defender of democracy, a role model to us at Harper, and an inspiration to anyone pursuing dreams at any age. We actually awarded Bernie with an honorary degree in October, and we are delighted to recognize him today at the commencement ceremony. With that, by the authority of the Board of Trustees, I will begin to confer his honorary degree. I'll repeat that. With the authority of the Board of Trustees and upon recommendation of myself, Bernard B. Bluestein has been awarded the honorary degree of Associate in Arts with all its honors and privileges. Congratulations, Bernie.
One more round of applause for Bernie. And as he exits the stage, I think it's important to recognize Professor Jason Piott. He's been his faculty member for 25 years in the arts department. We are at the moment you've been waiting for. The college paid tribute to the academic achievements of graduating stu students at the Honors Convocation Ceremony two weeks ago. During this ceremony, we recognize students' commitment to setting and attaining high educational goals in all areas of endeavor. Today, I would like to call to your attention to the commencement program, which designates the graduates who comprise this year's honors listings. It is now my pleasure to ask Dr. Travaris Harris, Associate Provost for Student Success, to come forward to present and certify the graduates. President Proctor, members of the Board of Trustees, families, friends, faculty, and other guests. With the fall graduates of the class of 2022 and the spring and summer graduates of the class of 2023 receiving the degree of Associate of Arts, Associate in Fine Arts, Associate in General Studies, Associate in Science, or Associate in Engineering Science, please stand. On behalf of the faculty, I certify that these students completed the degree requirements for Associate in Arts, Associate in Fine Arts, Associate in General Studies, Associate in Science, or Associate in Engineering Science. President Proctor, on behalf of the faculty, would you declare these students as graduates of Harper College? Upon the recommendation of the faculty and, my, and by the virtue of the authority vested in me by the Illinois Community College Board and the Board of Trustees of William Rainey Harper College, I do hereby confer upon each of you the degree of Associate in Arts, the degree of Associate in Fine Arts, the degree of Associate in General Studies, the degree of Associate in Science, and the degree of Associate in Engineering Science with all its rights and privileges there too. President Proctor, members of the Board of Trustees, families, faculty, and other guests, with the fall graduates of the class of 2022 and the spring and summer graduates of the class of 2023 receiving the degree of Associate in Applied Science Please stand. On behalf of the faculty, I certify that these students completed the degree requirements for the Associate in, Sci in Applied Science. President Proctor, on behalf of the faculty, would you declare these students as graduates of Harper College? Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Illinois Community College Board and the Board of Trustees of William Rainey Harper College, I do hereby confer upon each of you the degree of Associate in Applied Science with all its rights and privileges thereto. Congratulations. President Proctor, members of the Board of Trustees, families, faculty, and other guests. 
with the fall graduates of the class of 2022 and the spring and summer graduates of the class of 2023 receiving certificates of completion. Please stand. <laughs> On behalf of the faculty, I certify these students have completed the requirements for certificates of completion. President Proctor, on behalf of the faculty, would you declare these students as graduates of Harper College? Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Illinois Community College Board and the Board of Trustees of William Rainey Harper College, I do hereby confer upon each of you the certificate of completion with all its rights and privileges thereto. Would all graduates stand and be recognized? All graduates. So for an unconventional moment, I actually want us to take a selfie. Those of you who have your wands, I need you to use it so we can celebrate. And let's raise the wands and audience give our graduates another round of applause. All right. We are now ready to present our students with their diplomas, the moment you've been waiting for. The college has arranged with a company to photograph graduates, and this company will be in contact with you regarding your photos. In addition to receiving your diplomas, graduates from the health career degree and certificate programs will receive a pin from faculty as they come to the stage, which is a long-term tradition in specific disciplines. The following Harper College faculty members and staff will read the names of the graduates. Dr. Alicia Tamajan, professor in the Liberal Arts Division. Monica Shirley, coordinator for Student Diversity Initiatives. Kariga Cooper, Cooper, associate professor in the Math and Science Division. And Margaret Belos, professor in our Liberal Arts Division. Mari Carmen Gonzalez. Samantha Tagney. Alea Sally. Anna Mariah Abbas. Kaylin Reese. Kirsten Gaston. Prince Bahador. Rita Pachalski. Nardine Hamid. Jamie. Kaiser. Jason DeLeons. Isabella Saramento. Carla Santillian. Jory Gutierrez. 
Alyssa Moy. Lauren Scott. Bianca Leffen. Leoncio Quezada. Joanna Cabezas. Nicole Cienji. Lisa Basevsky. Joseph Zamora. Michael Schwal. Mark Doka. Vamal Barucha. Antonio Bacacos. Angelica Baca Adame. Christopher Gama. Emily Rose Kramer. Tracy McCormick. Nicole Garcia. Gabriella Zajac. Christina Claprot. Zachary Scalafini. Erin Keppel. Devi Ott. Priscilla Nagatakera Nakato. Corey Jordan. Megan Goldbeck. Emanuela Pietri. Catherine Jones. Julia Smega. Tammy Connors. Brianna Martinez. Hunter, Lisa, Hunter Sarge. Lisa Marie Renesis. Alondra Vasquez. Orlando Wade. Sarah Hayward. Amanda Sumner. Ruchi Jane. Nimra Iftikhar. C. Blank. Rasha Hanum. Elena Marie Brinkman. Stephanie Castillo. Sunem Ariola. Alex Jacob. Uh, Jair Diaz. Maria Butanda. Asas Haja. Stephanie Ramirez. Giovanni Jackson. Julio Franco. Jose Luis Ramos, Jr. Kelly Moy. Brian Ria. Layla Rio Korea. Jawed Jawadi. Jadawi. Austin T. Murray. Mia O'Malley.
Megan Clevey. Kayla Bustamante. Samantha Elan. Sean Lacey. Trevor May. Sander Myers. Ryan Gallivan. Samira Lee Rosenfeld. Sean Beckman. Ariana Pikeman. Danica Smith. Fiona Mezzo. Cassandra Schwekel. Ian Shibarowski. Isabel Peckham. Brittany N. Wendorf. Marcelo Contreras. Rosie Vasquez. Gavin Amblin. Christian Jesus Lopez. Hannah Rio. Miguel Alano. Peter Agbula. Jaideep Singh. Liliana Vincent. Gavin Dominus. Anna Yakameka. Ryan Peter Skinder. Mahi Gandhi. Mateusz Wojeskiewicz. Sydney Callahan. Shabam Harali. Hannah Connolly. Michael Sedin. Bianca Gare. Clara Yi. Samantha Garzone. Jasmine Herrera. Deanna Gibbs. Bhavini Patel. Jacqueline Schwartz. Catherine Chapek Siegel. Lisa Sadlack. Victoria Spitz. Holly Hansen. <laughs> Mackenzie Elizabeth Costa. Jesse Velasquez. Teresa Fusilero. Zaman Muhammad. Lee Aduana. Uchwala Kansi. Annalise Soraya Hernandez. Maria Lopez Garcia. Bruce Osland. Kenneth Nolan. Ryan Friedman. Lorraine Clements. Tiasia Yearby. Liam Casper. Nicholas Lemke. Osvaldo, Osvaldo Cardenas. Celeste Soto. 
Kareen Manns. Gertrude Trimbeck. Leanne Vega Defo. Jack P Jake Patuli. Sorry. Alexander T. Christensen. Sabrina Farr. Cassandra Ariola. Rosa Ortez Lucio. Anahi Lares Nunez. Allison Merzuk. Marilyn Schill. Gwendolyn Reed. Eliana Zuniga Galzas. Adriana Urquizo Sanchez. Tiffany Ortega. <laughs> Kira Scufas. Martina Martras. Olivia Claypatch. Camilla Martras. Casey Burkholder. Giovanni Albavera. Unique Hunt. Alec An Lacasio. Annabelle Z. Kaiser. Tyler Brillo. Delaney Whitlick. Christina Cupertino. Maya Shepherd. Alvarado Hernandez Jr. Patricia Saldica. Gabriela Navarro. Addison Burton. Margaret Krupp. Margaret Krupp. Haley Durkin. Mary San Filipino. Spencer Clark. Abigail Dormany. Evelyn Regan. Marlene Marlena Hoffman. Panwali Seva. Vanessa Valencia. Nancy Granados. Paloma Gutierrez. Anam Mohammed. Maria Rodriguez. Audrey Garcia. Nanette De Cosmo. Raquel Diaz Ugaldi. Dylan Bochnik. Adam Radley. Deanna Campos. Iduli Silva. John Maramontes. Sasha Maslanka. Carly Marshak. And then Christina Teresa Penlilio. Keisha Hoy. <laughs> Rubiko Tsuchimoto. Kyle Stewart. Fabiola Avalos. Cassandra Salgado. Marial Palamutan Mariano. Ruben Ibanez. Magdalena Garcia. 
Camille Pogorski. Ivan Lopez. Tatiana Tosava. Alexandra Dang. Jessica Sanchez. Cynthia Dang. Alishava Allen. Alejandro Camacho. Cecilia Rivera. Julia Kachowski. Ayash Katia. Sebastian Keanu Bumpan. Joseph Burtz. Joseph Burtz. Michelle Melly. Julio Morales. Antea Fairchild. Don. John Kempfer. Pavel Lamansky. Elia Gonzalez. Mariano Alvarado. David Perez. Ashley Delgado. Nico Bayasi. Yesenia Diaz. Kara Sean McBride. Morgan Gibson. Catherine Nicole Marangay. Maria Chris Johnston Elsenbrook. Christian Marangay. Miley Fidole. Hamani Ben Patel. Francisco Resinos. Hannah Hurley. Michael Tanya. Caden Hansen. Olivia Ligio. Matthew Mills. Joseph Bordignon. Edna Jones. Madeline Lau. Brian Andres Ballerino. Yesamonte Jakara French. Emily Ahrens. Dua Qureshi. Brett Novastad. Stella Donavaska. Amanda Simpson. Nina Shimon. Nathan Michael Hernandez. Clarissa Bunty. Clarissa Bunty. Augustine Chavez, Jr. Tanette Green Pigram. David Picasso. Tracy Olson Pacton. Loretto Galvin Alva. Patrick Lucadini. Fatima Galvin Alva. Jennifer Lopez. Patrick Jansen Rondio. Naomi Aguilar. Caitlin Herman. Gabrielle Burlingham. Rocio Guzar. Marianne Maju. Celeste Tomas. Valerie Cacoleras. Sayeda Nagvi. 
Christine Casali. Diane Quadri. Alexandria Borat. Tabrezan Kalya. Ola Dotun Akiwandu. Roberto Quiroz. Jackson Bori. Daisy Guerrero. Karen Ramirez. Jessica Santos. Sarai Ramirez. Neen Lam. Mildred Quintana. Rebecca Kemp. Diana Gafinko. Clara Rose Nevosil. Sergio Gafinko. Katarina Dabrowska. Caitlin Rieger. Alyssa Pop. Hiba Kaja. Mariah Mendez. Mizan Kaja. Daniela Reyna. Jake Peck. Jack Peck. Jackson Powell. Adam Knoll. Rob Blackburn. Anna Kruger. Jesus Soto. Samuel Viegas. Margaret Klika. Teresa Zanuga. Joseph Bisconti. Maritska Venegas. Idi Mogado. Carmen Alonso. Claudia Brozek. Nisa Muhadad. Jay Kneven. Nadia Habib. Keaton Pazer. Brenton Laurie. Jeffrey Allen Canataro. Alexander Lupa. Mohammed Khan. Rahal Dija. Alexander Jacopin. Don Emra. Lindsay Mack. Jennifer Laura Machuca. Brenda Prada. Tyler Speaker. Oscar Bozak. <laughs> Micah O'Neill. Andrea De San Juan Hernandez Salas. Kristen Dawson. Jasmine Aviles. Rihan Lanaya. Jessica Robin Castillo Reyes. Sarah Ortiz. Alexis Don Lenes de Ocampo. Tatiana Balur. Shania Valente. Dorica Walker. Katherine Ignazek. Jennifer M. Lopez. Lily Ignazek. 
Jose Sebastian Lobos Torres. Raimundo Galino Navero. Mark Alde. Brooklyn Kinder. Mark Bavaro. Jefferson De Debray. Catherine Pillmeyer. Stephen Francis Encina. Maria Gloria Bello. Suwani Lark. Jennifer Renee Novi. Isia Husani. Diavion Boykan. Jessica Marie Wormis. Hassan Iqbal. Hikaru Hoshino. Jacqueline Sandoval. Rachel Thompson. Karen Trujillo. Marina Kisik. Kelly Turner. Joseph Del Omo. Andrea? Andrea Perez. Alan Acosta. Jason Grubb. Nicholas Thielen. Ron Ness. Josh Curry. Mark Ochoa. Benjamin Kamari. Kiernan Shannon. Grace Kelly. Naomi Cabral de Beros. Melanie Kraft. Mark Navarro. Olan Rewaju Ayi Labola. Eric Wade. Megan Atkins. Kaylin Davila. Taya Guess. Julia Winsky. Sharon Alcardi. Al Maria D. Conejo. Alvaro Torres Vargas. Jacqueline Vasquez. Jesslyn Patterson. Yadira Acosta. Anna Kuvistad. Alexandra Herzog. David Andrew Kessler. Lizette Cornejo. Melissa Salinas. Nicholas Kacharov. Amy Bergloff. Daniel Dreiskel. Leela Roblin. EJ Crespo. Joseph Lucania. Lucania. Alexis Obregon. Leah Briscoe. Muhammad Ali Malik. Jennifer Velasquez. Roberto Olvera. Elizabeth. Mitniak. Daniel Balboa. Emily Willis. Stacy Leakakis. Andrea Mora. <laughs> Melissa Del Rio. Raniel Bartolomo. 
Bayen. Martha Bayen. Kaylin Kelly. Donna Aliu. Alia. Angeli ben Benuzzi. Benitez. Carolina Benitez. Karen Puentes. Antonina Sarkar. Anthony Trejo. Jonathan Houston. Danielle Hernandez. Salvador Awit. Rita Stahl. Daisha. Daisha George. Connor Joseph Hazen. Sabdi Camacho. Natalia Z. Consuelo Dolce M. Bautista. Ashley Eileen Trenholm. Emily Alvia. Leilani Islas Morales. Sebastian Kroll. Connor Whirling. Tiffany Martinez. Genevieve Wolf. Laiba Muin. Beverly Legge. Eric Doyle. Melissa Arzua. Rahi Kumardai Dasadia. Ralina Garapova. Julia Garon. Dijane Dennis McKinley. Eric Debos. Melanie Kovacheva. Anna Thompson. Vivian Madsen. Giselle Nastad. Julissa Malagon. Madoka Yamaji. Jennifer Jacqueline Carrasco. Nathan Gonzalez. Fatima Gonzalez Aguirre. Rohit Ayer. Sylvia Angelova. Okay. Hussein Shaiwala. Hajer Gumas. Arwa Shaiwala. Deepesh Limbachia. Salma Madni. Tatum Neville. Donald Rudolph. Evelina Hoyek. Aaron Bustamante. Ulysses Hernandez. Eduardo Sotero. Samir Mohammed. Jacqueline Vargas. Peter Gologli. Karen Rodriguez Cabanas. David Ponce. Jake Drews. Stephen Michael Moy. Alexandria C. 
Mr. Nako. Ore Felua Ruth Ajaya. Lisa Doyle. Anger Adrianza. Connor McJanet. Barshita Akela. Rumesa Aiden. Dice Guertas. Michael Pollock. Shelby Norwood. Mataus Nashawa. Oscar Puliza. Olivero Puracha. Deanna Caluza. Omar Kassar. Okay. Tia. Tia Marie Katzman. Okay. Christian Salinas. Emily, Emily Laffey. <laughs> Reese Tayton. Lydia Schultz. Lorena Pena. Ida Nuramiri. The custom of the pinning ceremony in the health professions is grounded in rich history, with the first recognition of health professionals taking place in the 12th century. The tradition of the pin and the ceremony pinning originated with the profession of nursing in the 1860s in London, when Florence Nightingale chose to honor her most outstanding graduate nurses by presenting each of them with a medal for excellence. Since then, the pinning ceremony has taken on an important meaning for nursing and other allied, allied health professions. Both the pin and the pinning ceremony serve to provide important recognition of the symbols of these professions and the transition to full privileges for the graduates entering their professional roles. The graduates of the dental hygiene program will now receive their diplomas and pins. Rachel Damaraki. Erin Grace Fahey. Kahal Lang. Tatiana Galitska. Paige Flory. Alexandra Bostic. Macy Dalby. Natalie Valdez. Elias Pasias. Alexandra Lane. Madeline Marie Shulsky. Brittany Starbuck. 
Stacy Golabek. Lizette. Lizette Perez. Brooke Christie. Marianne Baruta. Patricia Ayala. G. Un. Caitlin Bay. Irene Park. Smita Brumbat. Michelle Pond. Husna Zahir. Roshna Zahir. And guest. The graduates of the Diagnostic Cardiac Sonography Program will now receive their diplomas and pins. Vanessa Valadez. Jessica Arroyo. Mickey Lynn Peterson. Katarina Fauter. Megan Wyatter. Elizabeth Jones. Jessica Montagu. The graduates of the Diagnostic Medical Sonography Program will now receive their diplomas and pins. Kimberly Welk. Megan Riley. Valerie Olson. Ariana Kurelis. Shannon Marie Brennan. Elizabeth Eck. Emily Eck. Catherine Kelly. Nicole Ahrens. Monica Tuladitska Golak. Marzena Tuladitska. Sarah Erdman. The graduates of the Medical Assistant Program will now receive their diplomas and pins. Nat Natalia Sofia Jerzak. Julia Pearsall. Niklas, no, Brianna Niklas Guerrero. Silali Fregreso Gonzalez. Fatima Fregoso Gonzalez. Mary Riley Ule. Denise M. Osorio. Nihal Salem. Destiny Little. That me. The graduates of the phlebotomy program will now receive their diplomas and pins. Daisy Peralta. Valerie Aguilera. Ruby Rivera. Dabney Bautista. Leslie Fernandez. The graduates of the Radiologic Technology Program will now receive their diplomas and pins. John Knipp. Rachel Brianne Marinoff.
Christian Kahakili Miranda. Catherine Durda. Danielle Carey. Caroline Curlin. Alexandra Furman. Alex Katz. Vanessa Perez. Suzette Felix. Ruth Lomelli. Daniela Edward. Arena Stotgren. Denislava Lacheva. Cameron Charles Reed. Magardma Ganbatar. Jenny Basug. Jessica Tang. Janelle Yang. The graduates of the Certified Nursing Assistant Program will now receive their diplomas and pins. Donica Lontak. Abigail Aurelia Nunez. Barbarita Santa Maria. Yulidia Garcia Gonzalez. Julia Newford. Evelina Laverde. Ada Velasquez. Janana Venkat Ramanan. Irving Popoka. The graduates of the practical nursing program will now receive their diplomas and pins. Ada Kankar. Natalia Negron. Emily Labno. Adebola Agarare. Katie Otebo. Kira. Kira Staunton. Amber Priester. Jackyara Alvarez. Liz Biluka. Alessandra Castrejan. The graduates of the nursing program will now receive their diplomas and pins. Lucas Leisure. Magdalena Zastro. Kinga Trezinski. Cole Bennett. Anna Rafalco. Sabrina Sofarora. Maureen Paulino. Sujin Yoon. Sukla Chandra. Dana Luce. Michelle Vance. Kelly Seiko. Anna Pavlis. Camila Pokika. Ricardo Wilder.
Valentina Popeliuk. Yulia Sek. Olena Adamiv. Lucio Rios Venegas. Lauren Bulat. Uliana Kinyazevich. Oksana Didik. Julie Sipierski. Montaña. Gail Soko Montaña. Michael Bagol. Renette. Renette Del Carmen. Pauline Devia. Stephanie Ruet. Sherry Cozy. Angela Abaran. Navjat Kar. Michaela April Kibbe. Gabriella Walker. Brandon Pueblos Manuel. Kabir Hussein. Mandarva Gambatar. Jay Singh. Juan Paniagua. Catherine Karsten. Judy Segura. Shania Correa. Pedro Abad Lorenzo. Morgan Hill. Ada Wachuku. We'll give our graduates just a moment to get back to their seats for our final exercise.
members of the William Rainey Harper College class of 2022-2023, please stand. At this time, each graduate should transfer their tassels from right to left as a symbol of the achievement of your degree or certificate. The left side of your hat, the tassel staying on the left is over your heart. That's the importance of that. So I am amongst the first to congratulate you this distinctive accomplishment. Let's give the graduates another round of applause. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the Harper College alumni community. The Office of Alumni Relations applauds you for this important milestone and provided you with a gift that was made in our College Makerspace Center, where ideas come to life. Innovation, design, entrepreneurship, the arts, and synergy. Be sure to use the QR code to stay connected to us. Lastly, I'd like to thank all the graduates who took part in today's commencement ceremony. It is with high hopes and expectations that we send you off as Harper's newest alumni. Let this just be the beginning of a journey of lifelong learning. Go forward and do remarkable things. Stay in touch. And again, congratulations on your remarkable achievements. At this time, I ask that our audience please remain at your seats until the recession of, recessional of all graduates is complete. Please plan on meeting your families and friend in the, friends in the Now Arena parking lot as another graduation will be taking place here shortly, and so we have to transition. Thank you so much. Let's begin our recessional. Congratulations. Congratulations.